Hi. Hey there. We got an interesting question for Ever Wonder, and it's about drishti or the gaze. And the question was, why is there so little emphasis on drishti in modern yoga? Um, and is drishti even important to yoga? Oh. Um, drishti uh, is actually very important. Um, there's not much emphasis because I think that's just a commentary on modern yoga that people don't know the subtleties. And because every time you move your eyes, um, it triggers an automatic movement in the, through the entire body. And then it also, that triggers uh, certain patterns of prana that then bring up uh, certain states of mind or stories. And so with, just by moving your drishti around, uh, you can explore almost the, you know, the, you can begin to store the kind of the, the storage room of all the history and samskaras and stories that you have. And within the, your own practice, if you work with your drishti, um, you often can really deal with things like a wandering mind or a dull mind or um, confusion. So that if you are very distracted, for instance, you might notice that your gaze is all over the place. And if you just soften the gaze and the quality of the gaze and the quality of drishti in yoga is that it's very much as if you're looking from behind your eyes, not actually looking at an object and separating an object out from yourself. And so if you focus the gaze, then the mind that might be kind of distracted follows the gaze and it's much easier not only to focus the mind, but then to be able to bring the body into alignment mm. and form. Yeah, one of the traditional metaphors is lotus eyes. And so you just gaze with an innocent gaze. Um, and that's, uh, ironically, the first step in the Eightfold Path taught by the Buddha, which is Samyak Drishti, meaning correct or gazing. Yeah. And they're referring, everyone thinks, to a philosophical view. But then if your eyes, and if you're not making assumptions, but you're merely looking innocently, uh, that would reflect also a correct philosophical view. So that's kind of fun. Yeah. So gaze hmm. drishti is very important. Um, it's a good thing to play with. Notice when your drishti is uh, all over the place. Notice when you can focus it easily. And then also experiment with different places for the gaze in different postures. Yeah, for different people it might be different at different times. What is best? Good question. Thank you. Thank you.